In case you've missed my previous videos, I'm currently in Rosner Posen coaching the Israeli Youth National Ultimate Frisbee team in the World Championship. The past couple of days have been absolutely insane. We had some wins. We had some losses. And everyone is just having the time of their lives. And it's only going to get crazier. So get excited! This is what coaching the Israeli national team for 10 days looks and feels like. Today is our third day of games and the weather today is absolutely beautiful. It's currently hidden behind this building but the clouds are looking incredible. It just feels so good, pretty chilly and I'm really excited because today is the first day for us where we have two games. We're playing against Switzerland and the Netherlands and hopefully we'll have a good day regarding the games. The kids are pumped up. I'm just excited to see how it goes. Yesterday, they surpassed all of my expectations and it was incredible. So let's see what will happen today. Then the 20 are playing two games I can't remember against two, but it's also going to be pretty good, I think. So, yeah, let's go Israel. to start our second game of the day. Unfortunately, both us and the under 20 lost our games this morning. But now, both of us are playing against the Netherlands at the same time. Next to each other, we're playing here. And the other are playing over there, which is kind of cool. So we'll see what happens. I'm really hoping that we'll win that game because we should do that. We're a good team. We're better than them, in my opinion. It's going to be good. But I have something embarrassing to tell you guys. The clip you just saw is the only documentation of the game I got. I'm going to talk about it more in a sec, but basically we had a very intense game and I had to be present, so I didn't even think about shooting. But after the game ended, we met someone who would become a legend for the kids, an American player named Ocean. <laughs> Unfortunately, we had a really busy game, a crazy game, and I couldn't really vlog or film any of it because I had to be there for the players and be inside of the game because when I'm shooting, I'm not really inside of the game, I'm just, you know, watching from the side in a way. So there's no footage, but we lost. Same goes for the under 20. After that, we just had a blast with some American players we met. Even though we're losing, everyone around is still happy because we're just so connected to the players from other countries in a way. As Israelis, we bring energies and we bring our traditions and we just share them with everybody. And we're just having fun together, which is just the best part of it. So obviously I would like us to win a bit more, but I'm still super happy with how we're playing. And that's just it, I guess. Tomorrow we have two tough games. We're playing against Italy, which is leading the scoreboard in Germany, 
which is ranked fifth, I think. It's gonna be interesting. Wish us luck, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. camera to be honest it just had to be completely in focus about what happened when it happened and I couldn't allow myself to film or talk to the camera or anything like that because we had some very intense games we had two games against Italy and Germany and like I said in the previous record or video or whatever the team needed me to be there focused on what's happening on the field and not taking photos or videos and the other 20 had an incredible win against the Netherlands Still count rising, laying out of Susa Shaloni for the Israel win. But then again, I had to be present, I had to cheer them on, I had to bring my energy to the field and I couldn't do that when I tried taking videos or photos or whatever. So, didn't really film anything today. It was still a good day. I can't believe that this trip, this championship is almost over. We've been here for six days, like, what? When did that happen? We just left Israel, and we're already going back four days from now. It's crazy. Anyway, that's been it, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Today is our last day of games. We have two games we're playing against... Um, one. Sweden and France. We're aiming to beat Sweden. We're supposed to be able to do that. It's gonna be good. It's kind, of, it's kind of crazy that a week have passed since we got here, but wow, the kids are just getting so much better, and I'm really hopeful for this game. So let's see how it goes. The other 20 are currently playing again against Colombia. Hopefully they'll win that one because if they do that, they have a chance at winning the bronze medal. So let's go, Israel! <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I want you to understand something. You just watched history being made. This is a special moment. A month have passed and I've watched this clip hundreds of times already. It still gives me goosebumps every time. This is a monumental moment for the kids. It's the first win ever representing Israel. This win proved that we're a good team, that we have something to sell. In my opinion, we could have won more games in this tournament. We played incredible and had very good games, but we dropped easy catches and played into the hands of our opponents. Which makes sense, cause we're a young, small, inexperienced team, and we know that. We came prepared to have a tough tournament, because this is only the beginning. Mark my words, four years from now, these kids are going to be the best in Europe, if not in the world. The first half ended with a score of 5-2 for Sweden. The second half ended with a score of 7-5 for us. These kids have something special going for them. And as long as they keep working hard, they'll become unstoppable. But for now, we need to get back to Poland, because we still have one last game against France. Which haven't lost a single game in the tournament yet. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm just very happy that we finally won. Unfortunately, the under 20 lost their game to Colombia, which means they're currently competing on places between, I think, 5 and 6 or something, or 4 and 5, something like that.
sei, sei. We're about to start what's possibly our last game for the tournament. We are playing against France. They're a very good team. They haven't lost a single game. But I just want the kids to go out there, have fun, and see what they can do. So let's see how it goes. They reign over everybody. They don't care if you're here or not. Now you're not here, Sabana. There is a moment in the game where you get That's life. When the train is coming, you either duck or you get hit. We want to push back. France beat us easily, but we still managed to squeeze in some goals. We were just having fun, enjoying our last moments of ultimate in this championship. And after the game was over, we went to support the under 20 in their last few points against Slovakia. The games are over, unfortunately, the under 20 have lost, and we're just gonna be here in the trade night. We're gonna trade some clothes, hopefully get something good. Let's see how it goes. Tamar, tikra li im yash trade, tashkiyach po. Trade night is over. Didn't really get anything, because everything here sucks, but hey, I'm hoping that tomorrow we'll get something. It's a race day in Poland and today the semi-finals have started. There's a game between Canada and France and a game between the States and Italy. Both games are very good and we're just watching them because it's just great ultimate. And later that we probably have a game of the entire Israeli delegation, just like, you know, coaches versus players or something. Today is a bit more chill, actually, <laughs> way more chill than the, la like, than the past six days, I think. So, you know, I'm just going to chill today and see what happens.
made it back to the dorms, the semi-final was very kind of good. Unfortunately, Canada lost to France and then they also lost third place to Italy. I think they just had a bad day. I really wanted them to win the tournament, but hey, sometimes it happens, because it was failure. What else can you do? Other than that, today was just great. We just chilled at the compound. We played some games, you know, just like mixed games, like under 17 versus under 20, New Age versus everybody else, which was literally seven players from New Age against like 30 kids, which was kind of fun. We won, by the way, 6-1. <laughs> Later today, there's a party and I'm gonna go there with the kids. Hopefully it will be fun. But I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna bring my camera there, so I'll just see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Everybody's saying that I lost my mind But I never ever given up this time Cause everybody knows that I've been on the grind But I never ever given up this time Hi guys and welcome to my vlog. Today we are visiting in Wroclaw. Uh, we are currently eating a burger and uh, that's it. Hope you have a nice day. Apparently there's a place around here which is called a dickery, I guess. It's just a place where you eat stuff that is shaped like a dick. We'll see. Let's eat some dick. Let's go and eat some dick. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't have any lactose free options, but it's kind of silly and they say it's good, so you know. I'm happy. I don't know, you know, this specific one is not coming to the end of the day, but you know, the rotev that I got from it was just a little bit better than the other one. Obviously, since we're in the mini mart, I had to leave my videos playing on the MacBooks because people need to enjoy some quality content for the video in the mini mart. Thank you. Thank you. 
feels crazy to think about this trip ending because it just ended so fast. It feels like we just got here yesterday. But hey, that's life when you're having fun, time just flies by. I learned a lot about being a coach, about what it takes, about what it gives you, and it was just incredible. It's been so crazy, honestly, the past 10 days. Wow. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning guys, today we are leaving Poland and going back home. The past nine days were just incredible, but everybody's just so tired and I don't know if ready to go back is the right word, but we do miss Israel a little bit. <laughs> In about 15 minutes our bus will be here, then like I said we're gonna head to the airport. Hi there, we are going back home. It's been such a great time here in Poland. From there we're gonna fly to Frankfurt for a connecting flight. And then from Frankfurt we're gonna fly back to Tel Aviv to Ben Gurion Airport. I didn't really film because it was complete chaos, but I reunited with my mom and now I'm gonna head back home and I'll just talk to you guys later or I'll just end the video here, we'll see what we'll decide but wow, it was an insane experience, we just said goodbye to everyone and not gonna lie, it's gonna be weird waking up in my home not going to the fields to play some ultimate See ya guys Oh god, how do I even begin to talk about this insane experience? Honestly this trip was one, if not the best experience I had this year. I think you can already tell that once the tournament started, I didn't really think about filming or making any videos, and that's because I just wanted to live in the moment and do what I came for, which is coaching the team. But once I came back to Israel and looked at the footage, it was too good not to make a video about it, and I said to myself, you have to make at least one video, and I ended up with four videos that Honestly, capture a tiny percent of what it truly feels like to be in a youth tournament. There are so many moments I wish I had some documentation of, but then again, I was having the time of my life and I didn't even think for a second about pressing record. And I'm super happy with how they turned out. They're not perfect and it was quite a challenge to create them with the limited footage I have, but through watching them, I'm able to relive the 10 days we spent in Poland. Obviously, experiencing a championship as a coach is different than experiencing it as a player. And even though I thought I knew what I was getting into, it was nothing like what I imagined. Once the day is over, you still have things to do. You either talk to the players or sit with other staff members talking about tomorrow, the games, tactics and whatnot. I'd say that being a coach is way more challenging mentally than you think. And luckily for me, I got to learn a lot from Yaron, which is the head coach of the team, about what it means to be a coach and how to do it in the most professional way. I still have a long way to go, but now it's just a tiny bit more familiar. Coaching the team reignited my passion for Ultimate. It gave me a new way to enjoy the thing I love the most, and it helped me evolve both as a person and as a player. People often ask me what I want to do in the next couple of years, and I usually say something like, I want to create something that will make the world a better place, probably through a startup or something, while also creating content and traveling the world. But there's one thing I want to do the most, and that is to have a career as a professional Ultimate Frisbee player. That's a dream that unfortunately seems a bit out of reach, but I'm working on making it a reality. And even though I might not be able to truly fulfill that dream, each time I'm in a tournament I get to experience and feel what my life would be like if this dream came true. But Ultimate as a sport isn't developed enough yet, and I hope that through my actions the next generations will be able to live that dream. Thanks for watching guys, this championship was truly incredible and I hope you enjoyed watching the videos about it. I know I'm excited for what's to come and I hope that so are you. I'm going to take a break from uploading for the next couple of weeks because I'm gonna work on some things in the background, but I'll be back. See you soon guys. Bye! So I want you guys to meet a very important character in my life. This guy. <laughs> We're arch nemesis, Nemesai. 
He's my enemy. He practically hates everything I do. But I like him, in a way, sort of. Hey, Israel!